Our health and being, in fact, our existence as a people depend largely on the effectiveness of the Ghana Standards Board. Because you set standards, not only for metals, but for what should be contained in foods that we ingest, for how clean the environment should be for us to live in, and how safe a way to build buildings that can conform and withstand seismic activities. And I believe in many advanced jurisdictions, the Standards Authority is a feared institution. When you have meetings with the GUTA and then AGI, you agree on your standards. And then whoever is bringing anything in will know that if I'm, I don't meet the standard, I know the goods are going to be confiscated. I want to urge that you will help you as far as the law is concerned. On your own, you need to have the courage to do what is right as well. And it's not just about the leadership. That must cut across your whole organization. Because there may be people within your own organization who might themselves want to cut corners. Oftentimes in Ghana, when laws are passed, it becomes then the avenue for people to profiteer. Honorable members, in a country like Ghana, if 60% of products on the market fail, it's not by accident. It cannot be a manufacturing defect. It's something, I call it a weakening of our quality infrastructure, and definitely it's gone on over years. It's not just one year or two years or four years. And for us, it's a wake-up call. But I think our plea to Parliament is we, we did market surveillance. We saw products which were consistently failing. We identified the suppliers. We went only to one, just one house, but the amount of goods we retrieved has filled our conference room. And of the 34 different products, they've all failed. Our plea number two has to do with the building code. We are pleading to Parliament to direct the country, at least for all public buildings, or buildings that the public have access to. That is our definition of public buildings. Mosques, churches, malls, banks, government offices. Maybe within a period of one year, to be tested, to ensure that they conform, just for the protection of life and property. Because as they say, earthquakes do not kill. It is bad buildings which kill during an earthquake. Indeed. Uh... I get so much frightened when it comes to electrical issues. And then uh, if we have one company having almost all the products non-conforming on the market, then we are all at risk. We are all at risk. And triggering down you know, uh, to the building code issue, I believe we will have to push it further and try to see how best we can engage GSA further. And then even if there could be a, a bill. But then we will do our part from Parliament. We will have to start it with a statement to draw the attention of Mr. Speaker, who owns this committee. We will report as such and then open the conversation for a debate on the floor of Parliament then I believe that at the end of the whole session, we know that the speaker will give some directions. But then, I think uh, it's very critical for us to rise up as a nation to curb all these issues.